Hi Naum, I'm Jig, I'm an anaesthetic doctor. I understand you have some questions for me, is that correct? Yes, I do. So, what actually is an anaesthetic and what's going to happen? So, an anaesthetic is a type of medicine that essentially gets you off to sleep and puts you into a very deep sleep, makes you unconscious and keeps you asleep whilst your procedure takes place. It means that you can't see anything, you can't hear anything, you won't be aware of what's going on around you and that you won't feel anything. And whilst the anaesthetic is being given, you stay like this, but then once we turn it off, you wake up. What's involved essentially means that when you come in on the morning of surgery, you'll be seen by a few people, uh, including the anaesthetist. We will uh, ask you a few questions, make sure it's still okay to go ahead and answer any questions you still have, um, outstanding questions. Um, and then there's two ways of going off to sleep. Essentially, one of them involves popping, um, putting a cannula, which is a small plastic tube, into the back of your hand and then giving you some medicine through that that makes you go to sleep. And then the other uh, second way of going off to sleep is through a gas that is delivered via a mask that goes around your mouth and nose. That mask smells a little bit like felt tip pens and... It takes a little bit longer to go to sleep through the mask. Once you're asleep, um, your procedure will happen and then we'll turn everything off uh, once it's finished and you'll wake up a few minutes later in the recovery area, which is a special ward um, where everybody goes after they've had an anaesthetic. You'll be looked after by a nurse there and once you're awake enough, you'll be able to go back to um, your ward and have something to eat and drink. Will the anaesthetic hurt? So the anaesthetic itself doesn't really hurt. You may feel some touching sensation when the cannula is put in. The cannula is a thin plastic straw um, or tube uh, through which we give any medicines that you need. And we put some magic cream on around your veins that numbs the skin. So when the cannula goes in, you shouldn't feel that apart from a bit of touching and pressure. As the medicine goes in, some people can feel a bit of a prickly sensation. The medicine travels from up the arm, into the heart, to the brain, and then you're asleep. So it only lasts a few seconds, and some people describe it like a, bit, uh, like a hedgehog crawling up the arms. The main discomfort you may feel, the main source of discomfort, is from the procedure you've had. But we will give you some medicines through your cannula while you're asleep to make sure when you wake up, um, you're comfortable, but also um, whoever's doing your procedure will put some local anaesthetic, which is special medicine that numbs that area of the skin where the uh, procedure has taken place. So when you wake up, you should be nice and comfortable. Okay, so after I wake up, will my mum be there? After your operation, you'll go to recovery and there'll be a nurse looking after you until you're fully awake. Once you're fully awake, you'll be allowed to see mum. Sometimes you'll go to the ward and that's where you'll see mum or she might come to recovery and see you there. Thank you. Um, when can I eat and drink? This is an important question. So different hospitals, um, depending on what procedure you're having, there will be a different um, policy or guideline for your safety that's, that's there. Essentially, we say before your surgery, nothing to eat or drink for six hours prior to uh, your procedure. You can have water or maybe some squash up to an hour before your procedure, but in that final hour, nothing. When you wake up, you'll wake up a bit hungry. As soon as you're feeling awake and it's safe for you to eat and drink, uh, the nurses will allow you to eat and drink. And there are some occasions when that's not allowed because um, of the specific procedure you've had, but again, that will be discussed um, with your surgeon and doctor and nurse uh, with yourself on the day of your procedure. Um, so how will I feel after the operation? Most children wake up feeling comfortable, okay? Our aim as anaesthetists is to make sure that you 
wake up and are comfortable and not in any discomfort. You might wake up a bit disorientated, a bit confused, because you'll be waking up in an unusual environment and something you're not used to. That lasts a few a few minutes, but then you'll um, quickly remember where you are again. Some people wake up and have a bit of a sore throat, a bit of a headache, and again, these are things that we can treat and doesn't last long. You might feel a bit queasy because you might be feeling hungry uh, when you wake up. Uh, again, once you've had something to eat, that settles. And then, as I discussed, if you have any pain or discomfort, uh, you should bring that up with the nurse who's looking after you because we can give you additional medicine to help that. Okay, thank you. And please, can I bring a teddy? Of course you can. Does Teddy have a name? Um, just Teddy. Just Teddy. So yes, you can bring Teddy along. Teddy can come to the anaesthetic room with you on the morning of your surgery. Um, and he'll be there when you get off to sleep. And then he'll be there when you wake up. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay.